99.3 WAJK, 90s and Now, Dreamwave Wrestling Show, Saturday nights at Columbus in LaSalle. Tomorrow morning, a chat with Hacksaw Jim Duggan, the WWE superstar of yesteryear, uh, going to be joining us tomorrow on the phone. But now, with the man you love to hate, Rylan Fox, manager of the A-List. you got to be nervous, because uh, this Saturday at the show, you could see the belt leave the A-List and face a five-minute thrashing at the hands of Marche Rocket. You know, Fox is going to give you a little insight into what makes the A-list and what's behind all the success that you see. Confidence. Nerves don't win titles and gold briefcases, do they, Shaft? No, well, I mean, you got to train hard, you got to work hard, and you got to be able to continue to have the effort. You but know, confidence there's, helps. There's an old saying we like to throw around in the entertainment business, and that is top-notch talent plus opportunity equals success. But without confidence... You'll never even get that far. All right. Well, we'll see how you do as far as your confidence level is concerned once the match starts, especially in that title match uh, with the BOZ against your boy, Nick Brubaker. There seems to be some dissension in the A-list. Brubaker fired uh, Nicky at the last show. Hades has put your life at risk without your approval. Is the A-list falling apart or what? Yeah, have you been reading your tabloids on the checkout line at the Piggly Wiggly? (laughs) No, I go to DreamWaveWrestling.com. Well, Brubaker... Just thought some spring cleaning needed to be done. As for Hades, you know, he let his emotions get the best of him, but he'll take care of Marche, just like he did at the Brawl Mall in October. Everything is fine. 99.3 WAJK 90s now on the phone with Mr. Fox, Ryland Fox, manager of the A-List. And the A-List, a big stable of wrestlers uh, in Dreamwave Wrestling with the big anniversary show this weekend. Tickets, you can get them at the 9th Street Pub in LaSalle and also at Nimi Auto Sales and online at DreamwaveWrestling.com. Let's start with the, the next Nick Brubaker match, Fox. Uh, the alternative title champ puts his makeup bag, I mean title, on the line against the, the BOZ after Boz. Do you put that makeup on for him, by the way? You know, you think you're a funny man with your little makeup joke. You know, the fact of the matter is, you wish you were as pretty as next Nick Brubaker. <laughs> champions dress like champions. And a little makeup just happens to be a part of his pre-show preparations. End of story. He looks like a woman. No, no. You know, and as far as Steve Boz goes, you know, he's no walk in the park. You know, he's put one over on us in the past at the Good as Gold Rumble, which is all the more reason why we came prepared in February at season premiere, and why we're coming even more prepared this Saturday at anniversary. All right, another thing that happened at the last Dreamwave show, Nick fired Nikki from the A-list. Do you miss her? Are you afraid that maybe her firing could come back to haunt you? Like, do you think maybe she might show up representing somebody else this weekend? You know, this is business. I don't get caught up in feelings. When I came to Dreamwave last June, I said whoever I managed was without a doubt going to the top of the mountain by any means necessary. And if Nick thinks Nikki would get in the way of that, then so be it. Things like these are what separate the men from the boys. And as far as getting in our way, you got to remember the A-list thinks one step ahead of the game, maybe even two steps in this case. She did seem to kind of enjoy that kiss from Boz in February. Mm. WAJK, uh, still chatting with Ryland Fox from Dreamwave Wrestling, big anniversary show Saturday. we got another pair of tickets to give away here in a little bit. Your other star of the A-list, Hollywood Hades, has a rematch against Marche Rocket. And this is the match that LaSalle wants to see the people that you say smell bad and and remind them of a barn, remind you of a barn, Mr. Big City Boy. (laughs) If Marche wins, he gets five minutes with you alone in the ring. Are you scared? You know, that's a big if, if Marche Rocket wins. Remember, Hades has already beaten Marche on one occasion. Secondly, Hollywood Hades is also one of the best wrestlers in the world today. Marche may be all big and bad, but he's got to get through Mr. Hollywood to get to me. And of course, you know, I don't see that happening. I have all the confidence in the world that Hades will shut Marche up once and for all. So no, I'm not scared. If I was Marche and all the Dreamwave fans... I'd be scared of being embarrassed by the hottest thing going today, the A-list. <sighs> yeah, okay. You know, Fox, let me tell you, the last match, I was at the last show last month, and Marche was about to win when time ran out. If you're not scared about facing five minutes at the hands of the Rocket, then why were you so outraged outside the ring after Hades agreed to the match? You know, like I said, Hades got a little ahead of himself that night. 
And uh, he's had this attitude lately, you know, been being short with me. I don't know what it is, but he shouldn't have agreed to that stipulation. It was never my intention to get inside the ring when I came to Dreamwave. I'm not an active wrestler. I'm there for moral support and to shut those idiot fans up and nothing more. Sure, uh uh-huh, you say nothing more, yet you seem to get involved and interfere in your wrestlers' matches. I mean, you're going to seriously say that you don't interfere and, and, and object at all into the match. You know, I can't recall any particular moments <laughs> over the past nine months where I, as you say, got involved in the match. Sometimes I don't like the ref's call. Sometimes I get caught up in the heat of the moment. And maybe the ref gets distracted in the process. And sometimes things happen to the A-list opponent during the match. But the ref is the law. And if he couldn't see it with his own eyes, then it doesn't really matter what you or any of the Dreamwave fans think, now does it? I can recall one time when you really got involved, and it wasn't at your own liking. If it was by the hands of Jim the Anvil Nightheart, who put a whooping on you in Hades, that I can recall. So, and I know all the Dreamway fans remember that too, and they're thinking you're going to get even bigger dose of that with Marche after he beats your boy Hollywood Hades this Uh-oh. Saturday. You're dreaming, baby. You're dreaming. WAJK 90s and now wrapping things up with the Fox, Ryland Fox from, uh, well, Foxy as his friends call him, as he says. Uh, The Dreamwave anniversary show is Saturday. All right, Fox, let's talk future plans. Do you have your eyes and any other wrestlers in Dreamwave to add to the A-list stable? I'm always on the lookout for that something special, but I only have time for guys with the total package. I always have an ace or two up my sleeve, and you'll find out when the rest of the wrestling world finds out. All right, keep it close to the vest, I see. Any plans for Nick Brubaker to use the, his good-as-gold briefcase? Well, between photo shoots for ad campaigns, auditions I've got lined up for him, his title defenses, and our party lifestyle, it doesn't leave us a lot of time for our plans, you know, to cash in the briefcase. I mean, we got a whole year to think about it. But again, you'll find out when everybody else does. When it's live, baby. Yeah, yeah, nice status quo answer. You keep partying and wasting away all that time, and you're going to watch the belt disappear and the briefcase. No way, baby, not even close. Last question for you, Fox. What's going to happen to the A-list at Dreamwave's anniversary this weekend? To put it simply, the Golden Boys of Wrestling, the A-list, are going to continue to deliver better than the mailman and tear apart 2010. Next stop, the biggest show of the year, Saturday, April 3rd, Dreamwave Wrestling's anniversary at the Knights of Columbus. Doors open at 6.30, and it's sure to be a star-studded event. All right. Well, you be careful, because you're going to find yourself on the bottom of the mat there. You know, there's a casket match going on, too. You never know. They might wheel that thing out early for you, Ryland, okay? No way. No way. Not even close.